Faith Alive is on the air with evangelist Ted Shuttlesworth. Canada shall be saved from the Maritimes to British Columbia, from the Arctic Circle to the U.S. border. Canada shall be saved. Shout yes! From Ted Revivals at urban centers to major venues all over the world. Brother Shuttlesworth touches millions of lives daily with his message of faith proclaiming the saving and healing power of Jesus Christ. With over 40 years of dynamic preaching, he is bringing this life-changing gospel into your home. Join with Ted Shuttlesworth, and let's believe God for your breakthrough today. Welcome to the telecast again this week. I'm Ted Shuttlesworth, and 
This is our ministry by TV. It goes all around the world. We call it Faith Alive. And that's my prayer for you today, that God will bring your faith alive. And joining me in the studio is my friend, Pastor Tony Carpenter. Welcome to the telecast. So glad to be with you. I sir. can't think of a better way to start than with my, <laughs> my friend. He's been here. You see behind us, it says Thousand Souls Crusades. This year, our focus is on winning the loss. And he's come in uh, to help us uh, for the tent crusades and even outdoor crusades in stadiums, on fields. We're going after souls like never before. And we want to be a blessing to you. You see a toll-free number there on your screen. Whatever your greatest need is, wrap your faith around it. Make the call, and we'll pray with you today and agree with you. Now, today's message, what to do when you don't know what to do. And now, with today's message, what to do when you don't know what to do, part one. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. Hebrews eleven six says, for he that cometh to him must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Faith has diligence to it. Another way to say it, never quit. Never give up. Keep pressing in. Can you say amen? Right now, the devil is doing everything he can to destroy the nations of the world. But he's not going to jumpstart the end times. The times and seasons are in the hand of God. And the Bible says because of the spirit that has been given and poured out that we are a hinderer to his plans. But you can't hinder the devil's plans if you don't use your faith. But if you'll use your faith, it'll stop every attack of the enemy against you and your family and your household. And you're going to end up with the victory every time until Jesus comes back to take you home. There is no quit in the child of God. There is no give up on the inside of us. The God we serve is the God who made the heavens and he's the God who made the earth. Hallelujah. He sits in the sides of the north and the Bible says his eyes go to and fro throughout the whole world and he's on a great search. He's looking for a man or a woman that'll believe him. I don't know how you feel, but I made up my mind I'm going to trust the Lord in this last hour if it takes an anointing I don't have then I'm saying God give me more of you we don't need less of God we need more of God hallelujah all you got to do is reach up and take a hold of that which is of the heavenly and declare to your circumstance here in the natural you do not define my life but my life belongs to God and if God is still in control. Let the enemies rage. Let the heathen rage. Let the devils rise up. But greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Come on, shout hallelujah. The greater one lives in you. Can you say amen? Here comes a messenger. King, you ain't going to believe this. Three nations have risen up and they're coming to destroy you. And the Bible says the first thing Jehoshaphat did, he feared, which shows you the imperfect nature of all of us. Because the first thing the devil will do is try to use your eye gate, your ear gate, and your spirit to admit defeat before the battle has been engaged. Are you listening to me? He feared, but he did something right. He sanctified a fast, commanded everybody to come up to the house of God. Why? Because God had given a promise that certain things would work when you got in his house. As 
a sword, judgment, pestilence, evil. These were all undone by just coming where God's spirit is. Now that's Old Testament. But the Bible says, know ye not that your body is now the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so when we quote the psalmist, no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling, that's talking about your body now, where we live as a spirit. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23, Paul prayed, Lord, preserve them blameless and whole, holy whole, I used to say, spirit and soul and body. There's a working of the spirit that is working in your spirit. There's a working of the Holy Spirit that's working in your soulish realm. There's a working of the spirit right now as you sit here. He is working in your body. Can you say amen? In your Bible, there were three trees that God used to bring help to his people. These trees represented the nature of God manifested to keep every one of us. In the garden, in Eden, there was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. There was the tree of everlasting life. And then again, Galatians chapter 3, Paul tells us, Cursed is every man that hangeth upon a tree. But thank God, verse 20. For, amen, that the blessing of Abraham may come upon the Gentiles through Jesus Christ our Lord. These three trees are symbolic of the nature of the Spirit of God. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil, it speaks literally to the spirit of a man. The Bible says there dwelleth no good thing in the flesh. But the tree of the knowledge of good and evil brought revelation of that which was right and that which was wrong. But God wanted us to know and have the ability in our spirit that we could have the ability to judge the things of this world that are not good for us, but also to choose the things of this world that are good for us. That tree represented that knowledge revealed to the spirit of Adam and the spirit of Eve. Sometimes we've looked at that as a negative, but you see, here's the thing. God can turn that which is against you and he can turn it around into something good for you and all things are working together for good to them that love the Lord and are the called according to his purpose it's not for everyone it's for those that are called that have the anointing that are walking by faith that are living for Jesus let me encourage you today something is turning around for your good because of what God did in the garden hallelujah through one man's sin sin and death entered into the world and through his disobedience Satan took rule but there was another Adam he is a quickening spirit he is the last Adam and he's the one that undid what the devil did are you hearing me for this purpose was the son of God manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil and the devil can't win if he tried hallelujah the greater one is in you working presently oh bless the name of Jesus hallelujah that tree was for the spirit of a man the next the tree that speaks of everlasting life speaks of eternity and the working of God thank God he is working can you say amen he is the eternal spirit he is the one true spirit and he gets in us. And not only that, but in that solical realm, our mind, our will, our intellect, emotions can receive the anointing throughout all of our life and throughout all of eternity. Bless the name of Jesus. The third tree that Paul spoke about, it was for the healing of our bodies. Can you say amen? 
person is every man that hangeth upon the tree. Deuteronomy said there were three areas that that uh, broke. Thank God. It broke poverty and lack. It broke off sickness and disease. It brought back us uh, where we were eternally separated from God. It brought back relationship. And so it speaks to the physical realm. Three trees. Are you listening to me? First Thessalonians 5 uh, verse 23. You're a spirit. You're a soul. You're a body. God had something for every part of you already in his grand plan and he said I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to bless you plans to prosper you not to harm you but to give you a hope and to give you a future there are nine gifts of the spirit three of the gifts are for your mind three of the gifts are for your spirit three of the gifts are for your body are you hearing me the three gifts for your mind hallelujah are revelation the word of knowledge the word of wisdom and discerning of spirits the three gifts for your body are faith the gift of faith or special faith working of miracles and the gifts of healing and the three gifts for your spirit are tongues the interpretation of tongues and the gift of prophecy can you shout hallelujah when you didn't know him he was laying out a plan to help you in the house of God or in the temple there are blessings that are working to undo the judgment of the devil these enemies that come against you oh hallelujah if you set yourself to seek the Lord in the days ahead you're going to have victory every single day there is no defeat for the child of God but thank God we are more than overcomers Hallelujah! Ted Shuttlesworth presents a 31-day healing devotional on CD. Wonderful Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. Join Brother Shuttlesworth as he reads some of his favorite healing scriptures. Day 1. Mark's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 34. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace, and be whole of thy plague. Ted Shuttlesworth has prepared a 31-day devotional CD for you. Call toll-free 1-888-323-2484 and receive your free CD or go online and click on our free TV offer and download it today. Go with us into a live service where miracles are taking place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You glad you're here, Dad? Stand up. I'm going to tell you three things. <laughs> Glory. Number one, you're in the right place. You're supposed to be in where the Spirit's moving. When you were a younger fella, you had some godly influence that you grew up around. Yeah. I don't know if it's a grandmother or mother, but they used to pat your head and say, you're God's little preacher. Yes. Isn't that right? That's right. And you say, I never found that call yet, Lord. So the Lord had to come here today and find you because he's not lost. God's touching you in your liver. All these problems you're having with it come out in the name of Jesus. For if the Lord finds you, he finds you with healing in his hands. Jesus, he shall live and not die. Declare the wonderful works of the Lord. Hallelujah. And this problem in the liver came from what you used to do. Isn't that right? That's right. Doctors can't do anything more for you. So Jesus said, let me heal you completely. That's true. Isn't that right? That's true. They told you nothing more we can do. That's true. So here comes Jesus. He said, I'll heal you. Glory. Glory. And I command you to be healed, never lose it. Now, my friend, 
I said, there was a third thing, didn't I? Both of your knees need to be healed. True? That's true. One knee, when you walk, there's pain in the side of it, right? That's true. Lord, recreate his joints of the knees. Recreate it. Recreate it. Release your faith too. Yeah, I know. That's why I laid hands on it. It's coming out. Uh, I hope so. it, no, not hope. Say, I know so. There you go, buddy. I knew what was wrong with that leg, but I'm praying for him to help you. There's a method to my operation. <laughs> Love him. Watch this. New knees. Watch what God's doing for him. New knees. <laughs> Brand new. Recreate. Now, I get hook up with this. You spirit of infirmity that causes pain in the bones and joints. In the name of Jesus, come out of his knees. In Christ's name. Take my hand in the name of Jesus. Stand up. Take off running. You'll see your knees are loosed right up. Run, man, run. Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. If you would like to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior today, call the toll-free number and pray with one of our anointed partners and join these that are coming to Christ. Brother Shuttlesworth would like to give you this free copy of the booklet, There's Room at the Cross. Thank you for responding. We look forward to hearing from you now. I trust that you enjoyed the telecast again today. And um, we were at the uh, Montour Sports Complex there on the field uh, where the Pittsburgh uh, soccer team, their home field. And my nephew, Jonathan Shuttlesworth, has started a great church, Revival Today Church in the Pittsburgh area. And I just was there and I wanted you to sense what God is doing. Not just there, but I believe God's moving all around the world. Yes, sir. Pastor Tony Carpenter is with me again today. Brother Tony, we're going after souls. Yes, sir. We're, we're going to believe God for souls. Absolutely. What do you feel in your spirit as we're going into this new season? Yeah, I, I feel that, you know, we, we all know, we see the signs and the times, and we know that Jesus is coming back very soon. And uh, it's time to reap this great harvest. We, we read this. Uh, further back in the other uh, broadcast here about the harvest is truly plentiful, but the labors are few. Matthew 9. Yes, sir. And we're praying, and uh, they're, they're ready to be ripe right up from that, that, that field. So we're excited about this year. Pray this ye therefore day. that the Lord of the harvest yes, sir. will send, send forth, forth laborers. laborers. We need workers. Yes, sir. We need you. Absolutely. <laughs> so I said, I can't come out and work at those crusades. No, but you could turn your money into missionary dollars and Absolutely. we'll spend it for the glory of God. We've got a plan. In fact, I was just looking at some of these budgets that yes, you sir. and my son-in-law put together. I'm asking God for 2,000 people this year who would give $1,000. That would be $2 million just to do these crusades in our troubled cities. 
uh, and see a move of God like never before. Yes, and, and God can do it. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Well, go ahead and pray for our viewers today. We love you folks and God has a miracle for you too. Go ahead, sir. Absolutely. Father, we just lift up every person that's watching, all the partners, all the different great men and women of God. Mm. Lord, I pray for a special anointing, a special blessing for this year. Let this be one of their greatest years. Let this be the year of the harvest for souls and financial increase and just the hand of the Lord. Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise, all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. And let me just say this. I want you to be blessed. You know, in Luke's gospel, when Peter was out in the boat, Jesus said, let down your nets. God gave them a boatload of fish so yes. that they had to beckon to their <laughs> other partners, the Bible said. And God filled both their boats. God's going to bless you this year. Yes. Don't listen to the world. Don't listen to the media. Listen to the, what the word of God says. The Bible says that whatsoever man sows, he'll reap. And when you sow, and we're encouraging you to do so, We'll take this gospel around the world for the glory of God. Now, my announcer's coming. I have a special free gift this month, a 31-day healing devotional, and I want you to get it. You'll enjoy it. Here's how you can do it. Oh, it is Ted Shuttlesworth presents a 31-day healing devotional on CD. Wonderful Jesus. Yes, sir. Is Jesus. Join Brother Shuttlesworth as he reads some of his favorite healing scriptures. Day 1, Mark's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 34. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace, and be whole of thy plague. Ted Shuttlesworth has prepared a 31-day devotional CD for you. Call toll-free 1-888-323-2484 and receive your free CD or go online and click on our free TV offer and download it today. Brother Ted Shuttlesworth and the entire Crusade team would like to invite you to one of our upcoming 2023 Crusades. January 29th through February 10th, join evangelist Ted Shuttlesworth in Roswell, Georgia at World Harvest Church. The church is located at 320 Hardscrabble Road. Come expecting your miracle. Make your plans now to attend the 2023 West Virginia Camp Meeting. Go to tedshuttlesworth.com for registration. The church is located at 28 Calvary Lane, Fairmont, West Virginia. Come expecting your miracle. Thank you for tuning in to Faith Alive. We would like to hear from you. Visit us online at tedshuttlesworth.com. You can also write Ted Shuttlesworth, P.O. Box 7, Farmington, West Virginia, 26571 or call toll-free 1-888-323-2484. That's toll-free 1-888-323-2484.